Look at this beautiful sunrise as I am arriving into the 18th country travel solo. But this time around, I'm meeting up with my mom. I haven't seen her in four months and we are in the beautiful Sydney, Australia. So this vlog is going to show you our hotel and just us checking out our initial surroundings when we first arrive. So let's get into it. Check out our hotel in downtown Sydney's Central Business District. I'm glad we like each other because it's real cozy up in here. This hair look crazy. I do not care. About to finally freshen up. We'll see y'all once we discover food. <laughs> Ma, did you did you pack the steamer this time? Did you did you follow directions? Is anything gonna get conf confiscated in here? I didn't need a steamer this time. And no, I did not bring a steamer. Well, I make sure it's iron when I say that. <laughs> oh my God, why you? This lady in her iron. She Ooh. gonna make sure her stuff is pressed, gold, right. marine, and iron. She proper. But how you check the bed? I don't be doing all of that. I what told you before, you look for bed bugs and look at her frame. Hey, my, you real thorough. I just be spraying the sheets down. Natalie, this what you be doing? So how was the flight coming to Australia from Detroit basketball? <laughs> <laughs> the flight from Detroit to Sydney, Australia. First of all, I had to go to LA. LA don't have no food, so I was, kind of, I was kind of pissed by that. They had some stupid crackers and some bottled water. And they had no time, they had no money to give you no change because they changed shortage. Fine. Get X35 set. Fine. Take that. Why did I, I have bought some crackers with me? Why did I leave some in the dog on airport and I was hungry? Really? Anyway, that's another story. The flight was actually pretty good because I had a good seat. I didn't have good company like I did when I was coming from Detroit to Paris to Egypt. But it was okay. A little bit, you know. So, so okay, ma, how how what's your age range? I don't want to put your business out here in these streets for people who watch and who be like, I don't know if I could do this and I'm a senior citizen. I'm up in age. Let me tell you. My friends range from 29 to 65 or 70. I don't even want to put their business out there anyway. I was a little nervous at first because it is a long flight by myself. Ma, I but, didn't say what your friend range was. I said, what was your age range? I'm about to get to that. Oh, sorry. Anyway, let me finish the story. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Once you get through customs, you pretty much straight. My age range is 60-ish. <laughs> <laughs> close to retirement. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> knocking on the door. Okay, so it was fine. You traveling by yourself just all this way. So how long was the flight from Detroit to LA? Five hours. And then LA to Australia was nonstop? 15 hours. My feet did get a little swollen, though. Did you, now, do you have any recommendations for people taking long flights? Make sure you take those um, empty bottles of water so you can fill up at the airport. Keep yourself hydrated. I mean, seriously, keep yourself hydrated. You might want to have a change of shoes. So you, if your feet do start to swell or whatever, if you don't wear compression socks, I would say have another pair of shoes so you can change out. Definitely have a jacket or a sweater because it does get very cold on the flights. Even if you have hot flashes, which I don't have anymore, but you might need a jacket. I did get you an exit row seat so you can have room. Even though my mom is five foot, you still want to be able to have <laughs> get up and stretch your stretch your legs. And so I made sure I had got her this seat where she could get up and stand and not be uncomfortable on a 15-hour flight. 
So it makes a difference. Definitely makes a difference. They had that kind of seat instead of being tight being between other people. Even though I'm am short, I still like to have enough room to stand up, not just be like this. Excuse me, excuse me. My mom and I are on the hunt for breakfast food. We arrived to Australia in the morning time, but our hotel had just ended their breakfast buffet at 9.30. So we were trying to find some plain breakfast food. My mom was sort of a picky eater. We didn't really find anything until lunchtime when we made our way down to the harbor area. So we are going to walk the shoreline and check out condo prices and share the cost of our food. So if you want to get an idea of how expensive Sydney is, you need to make sure you watch until the end. So let's get into it. I like the way I'm feeling. Can't touch this feeling. I mean my feelings. Batman me and my dick. I'm having a little sticker shock with these prices right now. Um, The lunch specials are $20. And I came from Thailand. Y'all gonna like, if you say Thailand one more time in them prices, because I was talking about it in Japan, but y'all can't help it because I was eating like a queen. Like, and for little money. I gotta run back there. I can't afford this. My mama, look, my mama out here. Now we in a higher end hotel. I'm eating a higher end restaurant. She just have on this expensive appetite. So I know I'm playing. That that be that be me trying to be all fancy when my mama come around. These seagulls is not playing. They almost took this lady's sandwich. They get the people tables. <laughs> <laughs> Can touch this feeling. I mean my feelings. Batman me and my feelings. Ain't no bag I can test. When I'm moving, nobody can test me. Man, I really can't play. Them man, them I really can't test me. Wait, wait, I put it down. Jack a band, them I call me number one. Understand, man, I put them on the run. Can't understand, never putting on the show on the road. Man, I give them on the go on the boat. We know we are in Australia, but don't this really do remind you of the riverfront, don't it? Yes, it does. Look at this fresh, clear, sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing I have to say is that I feel like I've been to the U.S. because I've been gone so long. And let me tell you why. <laughs> I'm getting my mama nerve because I keep saying, and this, and this, because you know, I've been here. But no, the real reason is because. I've been in Asia since January and it's May now. And I'm so used to when I see a non-Asian person as just tourists. So here is like you have people of all ethnicities, nationalities working. And so that's what makes me really feel like I'm in the US right now more than anything. And we're at the riverfront. It's not the riverfront, it's the harbor. And I'm seeing all these people of different nationalities and ethnicities who are working. You see that badge. So it made me think about being, when I worked downtown Detroit, everybody, when it was sunny like this, we would be walking and walking and not getting no work done because we were so happy to be outside. So that's what it's reminding me of. And I just told my mama, we've been out and these people been walking around with these badges off since down in the morning. So I don't know what they do <laughs> doing their work. So I guess they like, <laughs> I guess they like like I would. So anyway, take in more of these views. We were some walking women this afternoon because we walked two hours round trip or along the shoreline, the harbor shoreline, and we stumbled across this Aboriginal exhibit. Now we did not see this exhibit, but we did actually go to an Aboriginal museum. And make sure you are subscribed and you have a notification bell so you won't miss that vlog when it drops because I have a lot of history to share with you all about how Australia was founded. It's very interesting, but I'm gonna put that in another vlog. Right now I just want to show you the views of what we just what we saw when we first arrived walking along the shoreline.
decided to stop at this convenience store just to grab some snacks for later. And I spent $18 total on one bottle of water, one bottle smoothie, and a box of granola bars that only had six in them. So yeah, let's get back to this walk. Of course, I wanted to look at the price of real estate while I was here. I love looking at real estate prices whenever I'm traveling, whether it's in Portugal, Thailand, wherever. I want to see the price to purchase a condo, especially in a nice area like this. And it was pretty much over a million dollars for any listing that was shown there. And we are making our way back to our hotel. And then later on, we went to dinner. So I'm just showing you the restaurant that we checked out. The food here was pretty good. I had this like pineapple fried rice. I can't remember what my mom had. And then this bread was so good. This was duck and lamb. And we were back to walking to our hotel. This area is just cute. Like look at these bars and this area over here. And yeah, my mom and I just pretty much walked around on day one. My mama is making me real nervous walking. She walking on the wrong side of the street. Okay. And we about to get ran over by bikes and people. No, I'm not. What just happened? Nothing. In Australia, they drive on the left-hand side and typically walk on the left-hand side. So that's what I was talking about, my mom walking on the wrong side of the street in that previous clip. And we are back at our hotel. We have so much more to share. We are here for two weeks. In the next vlog, you're going to see us hanging with the kangaroos and koalas. So until next time, bye.